evening. Good evening. How are you? Nice to see you. And nice to see you people at home. We, um, we've got... They were good. What Lovely a crowd. super Lovely studio crowd. audience. Matt, yeah. what are you doing here so soon? Well, I just thought I'd say we're in about the players this evening. Oh, no. Do you like to mention them? And uh, we've got an individual uh, area champion. Really? And they are really turning but it on this I don't series. know if you've noticed at home, they're winning a lot more and, and the star price seems to be going a bit more. But it's the brains, I think, who are doing it. The brains are cleverer this time. Well, I, I realise it's teamwork, but at the end of the day, they've still got to throw them six nuts to win the star prize at the end of the show. 101, but anybody can do that at home. Well, yes, we know but that. But can they do it here? Well, let's find out. Right, to remind you at home, questions in the first round are worth £30 each. Choose a subject for Graham. Faces, please, Jim. Faces we'd like, Graham. Faces. OK, Graham, that's a look. That's a bullseye! Two pounds. Well played. Yay! Whoa! What a start for you. Michael, you may not need to worry answering questions if he carries on like that. All of you look at your monitors, but the first strike for this is to Mike. Look at your monitor. Who is that, Michael? It's Gordon Kay, Jim. Gordon Kay's correct, sir. Gives you £30. We move on. David, choose a subject for Stuart. Yeah, places, please, Jim. Places, Stuart, if you would. Well, that's in spelling. Went for the ball. Still there. Went for the ball quite sensibly in this stage of the game. Here we go. It's a spelling question for you for £30, David. Please spell subtle, meaning elusive. Yeah, S-U-B-T-L-E. I'll check that with Bully. S-U-B-T-L-E is correct. Good man. £30 you got. We move on. Come on, Sheila. Showbiz, please, Jim. Showbiz we'd like, Adelson. Showbiz. Well, that's in faces and the subject's gone. Right, OK, the subject's gone. We can't ask you the question, uh, Sheila. Not a disaster at this stage because it's the first round and they're all having a crack at the bull and we understand why. In the lead with £230, Mike and Graham. We move on to round two. Questions now worth £50 each. The dark players may start to reappraise the tactics now because they've got to go for categories that are lit. Here we go. Round two, Mike. Choose for Graham. Uh, we try words this time, please. Words this time, please, Graham. Yes, 50. 50 I'll pounds play. you have. Michael, for a further 50 pounds, what is calligraphy? It's the art of handwriting, Jim. Absolutely, sir. Gives you 50 pounds. Good. We move on. David for Stuart. Uh, places, please, Jim. Places, please, Stuart. Places. Yes, 50. Seen a bit of sense now, boys. <laughs> You're off now. All right. No problem, David. Here we go. In which country is Casablanca? Turkey. The lights will come on. That was a wrong answer. There's a bonus there, and Michael could tell us. Morocco. Morocco, sir, gives you a £50 bonus. We move on to Sheila for Adelson. Showbiz, please. Showbiz we'd like, Adelson. Showbiz. Showbiz for 50, Jim. £50 you've got. Well done. Sheila, for a further £50, which English actor played Professor Henry Higgins in both the stage and film versions of My Fair Lady? Now, you do know that, Sheila. Come on. Mm, I do. Professor Higgins. <laughs> He's in. The lights come on with a light, light on its mic again for £50. Rex Harrison. Rex Harrison. <coughs> £430 are in the lead. We move to round three. Questions £100 each. A little bit more difficult. I hope they're a lot more difficult for Michael, because this is terrible. I'm, I, I think I'm going to be a bricklayer. Um, <laughs> £100, but let's have a look at what we've got left. Sport. Affairs, history, books and Britain. OK. You, you know I'm not getting at your mic, don't you? So only in fun. Choose a subject, mic for Graham. We'll try history now, please. Right, sir. And sensible choice, you see, because it's safe areas either side. Well played. Fifty. Fifty pounds you have. Well for a further one hundred pounds, Mike, which Catholic monarch was beheaded at Fotheringay Castle in 1587 having been imprisoned by Elizabeth I for 20 years. Mary, Queen of Scots. He's right. What was she wearing at the time? <laughs> £100 you've got. Good lad, Mike. You're going well. David for Stuart. I'll try affairs, please, Jim. Affairs we'd like, Stuart. Affairs. 30. You got it. £30 you got. For another £100... Here we go, David. 
Which military leader and dictator was overthrown in Panama by a United States invasion force in 1989? Sorry, it's going your... Don't know, the lights are on, and there's a bonus light, Sheila. Aquino. It was not. We can now offer it to Mike. I'll be thrilled to bits if he doesn't know. I really will. <laughs> oh, and... Sorry, Jim. Uh, never mind. Thank you, Mike, for saving us time. You'll know it now. General Noriega. <gasps> Been in all the papers. Dear, dear me. Right, we move on. What do you think, Sheila? Uh, sport, please, Jim. Sport with Mike Adelson. Sport. Yes, that's 50. Well played, you played well. Well done, Adelson. Here we go for £100 on sport. Which German double world sprint champion was banned from the track in February 1992 for four years, a decision which, which was reversed in April? Don't know, Jim, sorry. The lights will come on. I'm looking for a bonus light. These are £100 questions, of course. <laughs> At the time, it was... Katrine Crab. OK, there we are at the end of game one. Look, look at the scores. £100, Sheila and Adelson. £110, David and Stuart. But in the lead at the moment with £580, Mike and Graham. Well played. <laughs> now we move on to game two, where we have to free dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other to win for the partners a question. And the value of that question is the winning score. It's about teamwork, as you can see. It's pounds for points. Over to Tony for game two. OK, Graham. Just take your time. Let's look. Trouble 20. One. And 20. That's 81. Good start. OK, Stuart. 81. Five. Five. And 20. It's 30. Still 81 to be, Dalton. Trouble 20. 20. Another 20. 100. Okay, well done. Okay. Takes the first round. Okay. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Sheila, it's worth £100 to you, this. You could do with this. Here we go. Don't worry about your bonus buttons or anything here. We just pass it down the line if we don't get it right. So for £100, Sheila, which American country and western singer is noted for his perform performances in prisons? Um... No, steady, steady now. You know that. <laughs> you are going to be cross. Now, you've given it to Michael, and we really don't want this man to have any more money. <laughs> Michael. Johnny Cash, Jim. Oh, dear me. <laughs> You're hurting me, Michael, winning all this money. £661 in the lead you are, and we go back for round two. Back to Tony. OK, Graham. <laughs> 20. 20. <laughs> and one, which is 41. Nice, Stuart. 41. It's five. Treble five. And single five. So that gives you 25. A lot of fives there. 41 the score, though, Adelson. <laughs> 20. <laughs> One. <laughs> and five, 26. So with 41, it's Graham that takes the second round. Right. Mike, for 41 pounds, sir. In Greek mythology, what name was given to the tribe of warlike women who did the fighting whilst men took care of the household tasks? The Amazons. The Amazons, absolutely right. Headed by Nina Mishko. Good. <laughs> Which gives you £702 and you're well in the lead. Back to Tony for, for round three. Trouble 20. And one, which is 26. Let's check it out, five. Here's Stuart. It's five. Trouble 20. 
and 20. 85. Good score. OK, Dalton, 85. 20. 20. And 20, 60. It's 85 to Stuart. Jim takes the round. David, according to legend, which 16th century German doctor sold his soul to Mephistopheles in exchange for youth, knowledge and magical power. Sorry, I don't know, Jim. No idea. No. We move on now. For £60, we can offer it to Sheila. I don't know, Jim, I'm sorry. No idea. And no. there's no doubt at all Mike will know this. <laughs> Curse him. Michael? Dr Faustus. Good man, and what a good answer. Not an easy question. Which means, with £728 through to Bullish Prize Board, Mike and Graham. Well played, boys. <laughs> Very well played. <laughs> Which means, for now, we've got to say cheerio to Stuart and David and Adelson and Sheila. In you come. Well played. Well played. Well done. Well, well, stick with this. Come on, Sheila, my love. Get yourselves around. And you, you lads are too big to argue with. Johnny Cash will be in your <laughs> mind for the rest of your life, won't it, eh? Yeah. We'll, we'll turn him into a bricklayer. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Brilliant. Thank you, boys, for coming all the way from Aberdeen. £110 for, for, for the two boys, £100 for Adelson and she Sheila. Watch in the second half with this sort of money because all, things, all sorts of things would happen in the second half. See you in two minutes. <laughs> Two of this edition of Bullseye. Don't ever tell me two editions of Bullseye are the same. We've got this pair and this smarty fella here. They've got £728 already. I don't, there'll be an inquiry. We've got the charity now. It's bronze bully time. We asked the professional dart player to throw nine darts, and if you can get 301 or more, we'll double that and give it to the charity chosen by Mike and Graham, which I know is a particularly uh, one which is particularly dear to them. We've got, uh, well, he's one of our favourites, shouldn't say it really. He's half of the world pairs champions. The bigger half is Jockey Wilson. <laughs> this is the smaller half, throwing for charity, Richie Gardner. <laughs> Have a good OK. Thank you. Nice reception there for you, Rich. Best of luck, son. Trouble 20. 20. And 20. 100. Good start. Nice start. Twenty. Treble twenty. And twenty, another hundred. Well done. <laughs> Good 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 twenty. Treble twenty. And twenty, another hundred. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three hundred. Could have gone for a bulk, yeah. 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 How are you? Oh, oh, Welcome once yeah. again to Bullseye. 11 years you've been with us now, haven't you? Yeah, it's quite, quite a few years now, yeah. 300 pounds. Oh, dear. Yeah, I should have gone for the 25 for the last start. Yes, well, I didn't want to say anything about it, but I'll talk to you afterwards about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, lads. Not Sorry. a problem. Where's the 300 pounds going, Mike? It's going to the local hospital, Jim, to help to keep it open. I know you'd like to wish him all the best, Richie. Very well done. Yeah, yes, thank you. Well. you played well. Graham, best of luck. One of you, quick. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Richie Gardner. Thanks. Off there. Give him a wave that way, Rich. Give him a wave in that one, Rich. Good luck. Right, no problem there. Well, that was a slightly disappointing, but I promise you 300 is no mean achievement. Let's see what Bullish Prize Board has got for you tonight. In one. No more wash with mother. Use this dishwasher instead. In two. A remote control car. Steer clear away from it. In three. It may be small, but it's in perfect working order. A three-inch mini TV. In Four. You won't be able to pass the time with this impressive carriage clock. In five. Don't be like Tony, half cut. Be fully cut with a combined trimmer strimmer. In six. Play it by ear. I'd do better with my fingers. You plonker. It's an electric keyboard. In seven. Now you can go wherever you zike. The Sinclair zike, that is. In eight. Grub by the tub with this ultra-modern food processor. And bully special prize. 
Discs from small beginnings, a great sound with this mini hi-fi with compact discs. Thank you. Well, lads, let me just explain to you. I'll do it for you, but I'm sure you know. Nine prizes, nine red areas here. All right. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. Once you've gone in there and won the prize, the light goes out, don't go back to it. Otherwise, you'll lose it again. OK? And remember, bully special prize. You've got nine darts. We hope you take all nine prizes. First three of the nine to Graham. Michael, come and stand here, sir. OK, nice Graham. You've all the time in the world, Graham. Away. Move back. Best of luck. Just take your time. That's the oh. bullseye! Oh, you've got it. That's the mini high five. Well done. Keep well away from that moment. Red number two. Well done. That's the remote control car. Red number three. Excellent. That's a three inch portable television. Three on three. You can't oh, do right. better than that. Take your time, Michael. You're putting your light out. Okay, Mike. Put Same out. again. Just take your time. That's the way. It's black. Black. Black again. Don't worry, that's the way to do it. You're better than losing these. No problem there. You played very sensibly. Last of the nine now, last three hey, coming up, Graham. Yeah. Make them count. Best of luck. Red number six. Excellent. That's the Yamaha keyboard. Red number seven. Can't do better than this. That's the Sinclair Zyke. Finished off with red number five. Fine. That's the Strimmer and Trimmer. Let's have a look at what you've won. The remote control car. The three-inch portable TV, the Yamaha keyboard, the Sinclair Zyke, the Strimmer and Trimmer, and Bully's special prize, the Mini Hi-Fi. You've done very, very well. <laughs> now, boys, I've got to explain the story to you. You have won all those prizes and, I've got to remind you, £728. You have earned the right to choose whether to gamble those prizes and the money for tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. Nothing greedy about that, honestly. There really isn't. You've earned the right and you've given 12 million people a lot of pleasure at home. It's your decision. 101 or more with six darts, three for Mike, and then you would have to come in, Graham, to do the rest. That's all I'm saying to you. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do, and it is not an easy decision. You're two bright lads. What do you want to do? Help them, audience. <laughs> what about Mrs Graham? Look at your wife, Graham. Look at your wife. Right. Look at me. Graham. Look at me. I, Graham, I've just looked at your wife. I'm saying nothing. What are you going to do? Who's going to speak to me? We've had a wonderful day, Jim, and then we're going to cut and run. It's been a pleasure to meet you, Mike. It's been brilliant. Absolutely marvellous. Well done, Graham. Take your bullies and your, and your tankers and your money. 728 quid. Off you go. Have a good night. Enjoy yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, our winners tonight. Excellent. Let's bring back Stuart and David with 110 pounds. Here you come, boys. Now then. What do you want to do? Do you want to go for it? We'll have a go for it. Yeah. It's 55 pounds each. He's got the money. You get it back if you do it. 101 or more, non dark for a first. All right, come on now. Please take your time, boys. Really take your time. Okay, 101 we need. Just settle into it. There's no rush. OK. Move it nice and steady. Take your time, the best of luck. 101 or more for tonight's star prize. That's nine. 14. And 11. Right, that gives you 34. OK, Stuart, 67 or more will take tonight's star prize. Best of luck. And treble yeah. 14 for Jimmy! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Have a look at what you've won. Have a look at this. It's a fabulous villa holiday on the island of Corsica. Unclouded skies and uncrowded sands make Corsica the marvel of the Med. Once best known as Napoleon's birthplace, Corsica has more recently become one of the most modern holiday venues in Europe. Corsica, ancient and modern. And now, it's all yours for the throw of a dart. All right, what do you think?
Stuart and David from Aberdeen. The two big lads have done it. £110. I'm going to give them that back. That's pocket money for Corsica. Enjoy your holiday. Courtesy of Bullseye. Thanks very much as well to Richie Gardner and Tony Green. Always nice to have Richie back on Tony. Yes, why not? Little round of applause there. Thanks for watching Bullseye. We're built to bits when they do it, especially for 100 quid. Watch us next week on Bullseye. You can't beat a bit of bully, can you? Bye. See you next Sunday. Bye.